Welcome to the Farmcast. Welcome everyone back to another episode of the Farmcast. Uh, we are back again with an episode where we are going to be giving you a list, a top three, and a bottom three. This week uh, we are going with Jake's. People who are named Jake. Uh, because there's too many of them. And we need to rank them. We need to put them in their place. Um, I believe mm-hmm. Becker, as a Jake, uh, can agree with me on this one. Yep, I'm also a uh, full dis- disclaimer. I'm excluding myself this time from this list of Jakes because I'm also my favorite Jake and least favorite Jake. So that's fair. I'm that's very big of you. Myself <laughs> yeah. Cross you entirely. Yeah. So okay. You want me seeing myself on this list? Okay. okay. Um, well, I'll get us started. We may be seeing it from somebody else. That's fine. We may be seeing it from somebody else. It won't be me. Sorry, Becker. You're, you're, uh, you were unrankable because you were better than everyone else on my top three. But my top three, going to kick it off. Um, I'm going to start it with, uh, Jake Kumaro. Um, now (laughs) we're all Packer fans. Um, Are we starting at top or bottom here? Top. This is top. Okay. Okay. Top here. Yeah, I, I, I like Jake Kumro. He's a top three Explain. Jake. Explain. So, he's a Packer. I'm a Packer fan. Um, okay. He also is beloved by Packer fans because if, he, if you bring his name up to anyone, they'll make sure to bring you up that he went to UW-Whitewater. So, that's yeah. cool. Uh-huh. From Wisconsin. Um, and, you know, he's got that he's got that kind of, like, grittiness to him where it's like, he's not flashy, but he's there, I guess. Um, and Sneaky fast. He does fit the criteria for being a Jake. He is Jake. Um, yep. So yep. I knew right away I had to kick it off with Jake Kumaro um, okay. because I also, a little preview to my bottom, I have a Packer in my bottom. So oh, I'm just going to preview oh, oh. that a little bit. Um, hey. So I knew to balance it out. <laughs> we. Oh, we. oh, God, it might be the same one. <laughs> so to balance it out, you know, Balance like everything should be. I had to put one Packer Jake on one side, one Packer Jake on the other. So I thought Jake Kumro, a great Jake. Um, he is definitely a top three Jake in my opinion. Um, but I'm going to be honest, compared to the next two on my list, Jake Kumro is like, he's like bottom tier of my top list. Um, sure, I'm going to I'm gonna just uh, in, stop your Jake flow for a okay. second here. I want to wanna talk about a little bit about Jake Kumro. Um, I don't mind Jake Kumro. I have nothing against the man personally, but my God, I hate the reason people love Jake Kumro because uh, if you're in Wisconsin and you know the ki- the type of demographic that's oh. the the biggest uh, Jake Kumro fans, uh, they love their white wide receivers here in Wisconsin. Big Jared Aberderis State as well. Every time uh, Jeff Janis, every time we've had a white yeah. wide receiver. Uh, boomers go crazy. They love them here in Green Bay, but that is that always was just kind of a little sketch. But hey, we we like Jake Kumaro here. Jake Kumaro's got some nice hair. Uh, yeah, I'll give him that. Yeah, he really does. I'm judging him solely on himself, um, not the people around him. I'm solely judging him off of his football ability. I like and Jake Kumaro. I like him. He's a good player. Yeah, so that's why he's on my top three. I get where you're coming from, but I'm not going to let it tarnish the Jake. Um, so Jake Kumaro, I want uh, Sully. First one on my top three. Moving on, um, we're gonna go with one of my favorite actors, Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake okay. Gyllenhaal's great. All right, Jake Gyllenhaal is one of my favorite actors. It seems like my favorite actors. Just the list keeps getting shorter and shorter. Um, but Jake Gyllenhaal, he is on that list. He's he might be number one. He might be my favorite. Jake Gyllenhaal is a cool guy. I don't know if you guys have seen any interviews with Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, he is, like, the coolest fucking dude. He's low-key. He's not, like, weird like some other actors get. He's just cool, has a fun time in interviews. Um, he's also been played in some great movies, such as, um, he was Mysterio in Spider-Man Far From Home. That's cool. I loved Mysterio. And I love Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio. Um, he was also in Nightcrawler. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. Oh, Nightcrawler's a good-ass movie. That is an amazing movie. Um, he's also in a, yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, I think that's one of the cooler things about Jake Gyllenhaal is the fact he can pull off the Mysterio character. Uh, obviously, he's famous for his Brokeback Mountain role. Uh, yep. And then also to be a Nightcrawler. It's a very, very uh, rangy actor. 
Can yeah. do a lot of different things. I know. I, I, I like Jake Gyllenhaal. He's so talented. Um, also, the movie Enemy. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's on Netflix. Not I suggest Netflix. it. Really fucking creepy movie. Um, he can nail it out without whatever he does. He's one of those actors. I'll go to a movie just to see whatever. It's like Leonardo DiCaprio. I'll go see a movie just because he's the lead. Um, for or what, The Rock. Or The Rock, yeah. Or Vin Diesel, if we're going to go down yep, that. Yeah. We got to we gotta rank our, uh, our top three, bottom three Vins. Don't make We're me do it. Don't make me put one above the other. Our top, we'd, yeah. only, we'd only have one half of that list because I can't think of a bad, a bad Vin, Vin Diesel. Yep. Impossible. Not yeah. a I'm talking just Vin's first name, Vin, in general. I only know one and I only think of one. Okay. And his last right. name, Diesel. I can't Diesel. wait to Diesel. rank our Diesel. top three Diesels. Yeah, I know. But um, Jake Gyllenhaal, if you, if you ever watch the interviews with him and, um, uh, fuck, I'm blanking out his name, Tom, um, the new Spider-Man. Um, Murphy. No, Tom Holland. If you ever see their, god damn it, Fenner. <laughs> but if you ever see their interviews, it's the coolest thing, most wholesome relationship you'll see. They're just friends, uh, super cool. Um, but yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal, he's a top three Jake. My definitive, number one Jake. Not including Jake Becker, because Jake Becker would be number one. But my number one Jake is Jake Lloyd. Now, some of you might not know about Jake Lloyd. Jake Lloyd uh, was in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Uh, he played my favorite fictional character of all time. Um, he played Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> uh, stole the show. <laughs> oh, he in, stole the show all right. In, uh, not, not the best kind of ways, but... But I had to put him on here because, A, he played Anakin Skywalker. That's one of my favorite characters of all time. And, B, the things that the Star Wars fan base did to that little boy is so is, is so terrible. The things that they did to him, it literally ruined his childhood. He is still traumatized and scared from the terrible fan base that attacked him. This kid, he's a child. They attacked him like no other. And what they did to him was so fucking terrible that all I can do is respect it. It was none of that was his fault. Jake Lloyd, I hope you're doing good. Hope you're listening. I know you are. Um, friend of the pod, Jake Lloyd. I, I, I understand. Well, I know where Kyle's gonna come. Take it away. What do you What do you have? To um, say? Harass Jake the Lloyd, kid. I will say this: Jake Lloyd is a man now, and Jake Lloyd uh, will be talked about later on the pod. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jake Lloyd. Uh, I know you're watching. Hit me up. DM me. You're cool. We like you. Um, so I looked up. I looked up Jake Lloyd. Um, just because I wanted to see at first before you mentioned he was Anakin St uh, Skywalker, I started looking him up and I was like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" You know, and it looks like one of the main pictures that's brought up is a mugshot. It's not. I don't know what that picture is. He just looks very scary. Um, <laughs> but in 2012, he um, he he directed a documentary highlighting Tibetan refugees in India who attempted to escape alleged prosecution by the Chinese government. Seems like a pretty good right. thing to do. Right. Yeah. He's a Seems good like guy, a good honestly. Guy. That is a good thing to do. I'm going to be I'm going to write this down for later in case we have if anyone I'm not naming names but if someone brings about I'm writing this down as a pro um, <laughs> brings light to political issues and these are things we need to change. So thank you Jake Lloyd for doing that. Um, I don't know another Jake who has done that outside these of These are lighthearted lists. These, yeah. are, these are lighthearted lists, and I'm not ripping the man's personal life. We'll see. I, I don't know if he's coming up or not later. All I know is yeah, Jake Lloyd, no, yeah, good yeah. guy, did not deserve the hate he got, um, and Star Wars fan base uh, sucks for that, and many other reasons. But Many, many them. other reasons. But, but yeah. my top three, Jake Kumaro, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Jake Lloyd. All right, so got the list out today. Got the notepad. So I'm going to go starting off number one, my guy, Jake Plummer. Now, you listen here. Jake Plummer, <laughs> he gave hope to guys like me named Jake because he was the first professional athlete I knew named Jake. And I'm like, hmm, us Jakes can make it in this world. We can do just about anything. We could play in the NFL, and that's really the only famous Jake I knew at the point. So it just gave me hope that, you know what, maybe someday I could be a professional athlete. So okay. thank you, Jake Plummer, for giving me that hope. That optimism that I all these Jakes needed. Okay, Jake Plummer, influential yeah. Jake. No, yeah. absolutely. I couldn't agree with this one more. This is a great one. Mm -hmm. um, I very, very much agree. Number two, y'all probably won't know him, 
but it's I was going to butcher the last name. It's Jake Shimabukuro. He's a famous ukulele player from Hawaii. And when I started playing the ukulele, he was like my inspiration because he is very, very talented. So I would just watch like his videos on YouTube and just how he plays the instrument. And my God, he just fucking shreds. Okay. Strong. He's All just, right. yeah, super cool dude. Just super good at the ukulele. And yeah, that's pretty much it. He's also a Jake. Okay. He is a Jake. a Jake. That's pretty and sick. And he taught you how to shred. Yeah, he taught me how to shred, which is super cool. Um, the last Jake I'm going to put on is going towards a wrestling fan base. It's Jake the Snake Roberts. <laughs> okay. I know you. One, Kyle, once you said you had a wrestling turn on yours, I knew I had to go because mine's more significant than whatever reason you had. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Right. Because okay. I didn't realize this was a competition. But yeah. yeah. Okay. So, no, when I was younger, I'd always visit my grandparents, and my grandpa would always call me Jake the Snake because of this wrestler all the time. So, the first thing he ever said to me every time I walked in the door Jake the Snake, what's going on? Every single time. So, I was always Jake the Snake going to my grandparents' house, and it was just the coolest thing. So, Jake the Snake, even though I didn't really watch him wrestling, he gave me a cool nickname at my grandparents' house. So, yeah. gotta go with that. Enough. My I, my brother, for the listeners, is also a Jake. Um, my parents would call him Jake the Snake. I thought it was only because it rhymed. I didn't know he was a wrestler. I just thought it sounded yeah. cool. I was today years old when I found out Jake the Snake was a wrestler. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, yeah, so that's my top three is Jake Plummer, Jake Shimabukuro, and Jake the Snake Roberts. What a well, trilogy. Uh, Becker and I have never agreed more on anything because uh, two of our three Jakes are the same. Number one, Jake Plummer. Hell yeah. (laughs) These are in no particular order, by the way. Uh, Jake Plummer I had on my list because Jake Plummer was a cool-ass quarterback. He had one of the best mustaches you would ever see at the quarterback position. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rocked it throughout his career. He had that later in his career. He had the mullet going on. So he was always just a fashion icon, whether it be the Cardinals, the Broncos. And he also threw for a boatload of yards. People forget how good Jake Plummer actually was. So, yeah, Jake Plummer was always one of the quarterbacks I enjoyed the most growing up. He was a beast in NFL Street. He was awesome in quarterback club 2002. Oh. So, oh. Jake Plummer was a strong Jake to make the list. Number two, also Jake the Snake. <laughs> Um, mostly, I don't have any, uh, ex- I don't, ex- don't exactly have a, uh, emotional attachment, uh, like Becker does, but Jake the Snake just almost makes it because the nickname itself is just transcendent. You, like, you don't even have to know who the guy is. You've heard Jake the Snake before. And oh, it's yeah. just like, yeah, mm-hmm. he exudes that raw energy. Well, again, another mustache, uh, mullet guy, Hall of Fame wrestler. So Jake the Snake makes the list. So My number three is Jake Becker. Hell yeah. <laughs> he made my top three Jakes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, And here's why. Oh, shit. I got to get my notes. <laughs> I, it's easy to forget. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Oh. Jake Becker makes it. <laughs> that was so, mean. <laughs> that was just mean. It's a joke. He made my list. Okay. I'm just saying, my God. Oh, yeah. Didn't realize that we were having the sensitivity cast. <laughs> no, it was, just, it was just a little mean. That's all I'm saying. It's a little rib. He also made my top three. Anyways, makes it for a number of reasons. <laughs> number one, he's a good friend. I'll say it. I, I'll, I'll have the guts to admit it. He's a good friend of the pod. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's on the pod. Yep. Big ups. And he runs a very tight ship, but he runs a fantastic Minecraft server. I will say oh, that. Man, yeah. I have never seen him take anything more seriously than he does at the Minecraft server. You cannot threaten the integrity of the server. You have to you have to keep it clean. Uh, not a lot of killing is allowed. Just a little bit. Some um, is, though, as I've found out. Some a little killing bit. is allowed. There's a, there's Venner a is a known murderer of, yeah, uh, in yeah. Minecraft. Serial what are you gonna killer. Do? But yeah, um, <laughs> a lot of good qualities about Jake, and Jake Becker made my number three spot. The number one, really, but the third I brought up. Okay, I have a couple more pros to add. Um, rugby, oh, rugby player. Oh, 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 okay. I, su- I thought we were talking pros. Okay. <laughs> he may come up very shortly. Here, okay. So. Okay. Yeah, Becker and I very much on the same page today. Uh, Jake Plummer, Jake the Snake, and uh, Jake Becker. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. So me and Kyle also had two of them that are the same on our list. So <laughs> um, I'll get like those on the way first. Jakes. 
I'll, I'll get those out of the way first. Um, I also had Jake Becker. Um, oh. He's a very swell guy. He oh. loves Minecraft. Um, he's a great friend. He's also very athletic. He lacks he lacks finesse, but he makes up for it in athleticism. And I overlooked that Becker. Okay? And heart. And heart. And heart. Yep. And hair. Um, maybe yep. the coolest thing about Jake Becker is that he is on one of the most entertaining and influential podcasts of not only this year but also last year. Um, the Farmcast. Yep. So make sure to follow. Then you can and stream on Apple Podcasts, media. Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, <laughs> and follow on social media at the Farmcast Pod on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Absolutely, I love that. I love that podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's great. Um, so yeah, I had Jake Becker on my list. Next, I had um a man who's already been mentioned twice, Jake Plummer. <laughs> okay, Jake Plummer had a career record of sixty nine kind of cool and 67 he was okay. a two-time interception leader um his nickname was also jake the snake so uh he was a one-time pro bowler in 2005 he has thrown he is i think one of i think he is actually the only quarterback to end his career with exactly 161 touchdowns and 161 interceptions Kay. that's pretty unique um, and as Kyle mentioned before, he threw for a boat, boatload of yards. He threw for just uh, just shy of 3,000 yards in his NFL career. 3,000 yards or 30,000? 30, 30,000 yards is what I said. <laughs> it's like, wow, what a career. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, not so. He sounds like Jameis Winston before his time. So, yeah. a Zach top, you'd think. If he Zach was, was a real Very James different. Fan. They're very Jack different. was a real Jameis fan. He, he was, was at least top player. four. That's 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 uh, making the case that you could even compare Jameis to anyone, which I'll shoot you it down easily right can away. quite no. easily. I'll shoot it down right away. Third, Jake Winston. Just kidding. Uh, I meant to say Winston uh, for Jameis Winston, but no. So my third one is Jake Delome, another NFL quarterback. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> he started ninety six games for four different teams: the Saints, the Panthers, the Browns, and the Texans. All teams that I don't hate. You know what I mean? Um, he threw for 3,000 yards four times in his career. Jake DeLome, great football player. Okay. That's all I have for the top. No, I'd say great. He was yeah. a football player. Uh, so he'd, be like, he'd be like number four for me if we did top four. Just because he was also around the same time as Jake Plummer. And just gave me more reassurance that us Jakes can make it in this world. In professional sports, that is so. so there are a lot of people another good role model to look up to. Pooped his pants in the Super Bowl. Yep. Carried so by I Steve didn't know that. That's sick. That's not badass. literally pooped his pants, it's, but he might as well. Uh, it's like, like metaphorically. A, oh pants. man, I got really excited. I was like, <laughs> "You're hoping for some like Tom and Ben yeah. McNabb, yeah. 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 Some, yeah. some yeah. Paul yeah. Pierce." <laughs> <laughs> bottom three paul by the way yeah, yeah oh yeah we'll save that for the paul cast well we are that one's too easy we would not uh, the top yeah so my top three jake becker jake Plummer, and jake delome so you think jake delome is a better jake than jake gyllenhaal come on now fatter um i'm a man who likes where are the merits yeah i don't know what to tell you all right Hey, that's a perfect segue into my bottom three, if you're a man okay. who likes football, because starting off with my bottom three, um, Fenner, can you express your dislike for the ex-Packer linebacker Blake Martinez for me real quick? What exactly do you want me to say? You tell me. Oh, he is maybe the most overrated linebacker uh, or player loved by Packer fans for a reasons unbeknownst to me. He only made tackles. He, oh, what? He was second in the league in, in tackles this past year, right? How many of them were within 10 yards of the line of scrimmage? I would guess 25% of them. Fuck Blake Martinez. He's awful. Okay. You see, a lot of the hate that you have for Blake Martinez is how I feel for ex-Packer linebacker Jake Ryan. Minus the okay. Pro Bowls, too. <laughs> You're right, right. Okay. I, the, like, Jake Ryan is just... And an ultimate poor man's Blake Martinez, which is why. And that's poor. And that is yeah, poor. That's not a place right. you want to be. Right away. When I, I was thinking about bottom Jakes, this was the second one I wrote down was Jake Ryan. I always hated him. This man, he he was there. I, like that's, that's like the nicest thing I can say is that he played. 
he definitely played mm. on some good Packer teams. He was part of them, I guess, technically. Unfortunately. So Jake Ryan was uh, a Packer linebacker from 2015 to 2017. Do you guys know what he did after hey, he was... Well, he was only a Packer for three years. Yeah. yeah. Because it feels, felt like he was a Packer like... forever, and I hated every second of watching yep. him. Well, do you guys know what he did after that in 2017, what team he went to? The Jags? It's a trick question. 2018, he was not on an NFL roster. In 2019, he did play two games for the Jaguars. I um, hate that I knew that off top. <laughs> like... And it just goes to show that era of 2015-2017, that Packer, those Packer teams, it just goes to show, really, we were scraping from the bottom of the barrel for defensive players, that he didn't, he, this man didn't play an NFL snap the next year. And so, I don't know if you guys remember this article coming out um, recently, like a couple of months ago, I think, uh, the Ravens... Uh, dropped or released Jake Ryan and I didn't even know they signed him for like a couple days um that's just funny to me because I I hate Jake Ryan uh he sucked he was hard to watch everything Fenner feels about Blake Martinez is how I feel about Jake Ryan mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I will uh I will be adding to the Jake Ryan lore uh that's spoiler alert okay so we can yep. save that for a little later so Jake Ryan one of my bottom tier Jakes moving on um Keep it on with the football trend. I've got Jake Locker. Um, Jake, oh, come on. Oh, Jake, yeah. No, oh, oh, yeah. God. Absolutely. Jake Locker sucked. <laughs> um, it was terrible. Um, so, for those of you who don't know about Jake Locker, he was, uh, he was a Titan from 2011 to 2014. That was his NFL career right there. Yep. Um, and so he finished his career with... 27 touchdowns and 22 interceptions. Better than Jameis, oh. some say. Well, I wouldn't, because that's not I mean, even he close. Did throw no. more touchdowns and interceptions, that's so right. that's still it's a positive. I Makes guess. But Jake Locker stinks. Uh, I always, I never liked him. I there was something I always hated about Jake Locker. Him, I, I get him in that same group with like, um, oh, what's his Jimmy Clausen? Um, yep. there's oh, some boy. like he was. <laughs> oh, I don't know about like that. Too. There are some like a group of quarterbacks where you just toss them into this gross like, like the, in the middle of the ether that are almost just like legends now. And I forgot, I didn't even know. I thought Jake Locker had a longer career, but it makes nope. sense he only would play 2011 to 2014. See Here's the thing with Jake Locker, and probably the reason you thought he had a longer career, because I remember he's, he's one of those guys, he stayed in college a year too long, and if he would have come out, I know if he would have come out the year before, he was the shoe-in number one overall pick, like no questions asked. Stayed, I think he went to Washington, he stayed there an extra year. He went like 10th overall. I I will not stand for him comparing him to Jimmy Clausen, though. No. <laughs> that is where I draw the line, because Jake Locker a big thing with his career, he got like I'm pretty sure he had really bad back injuries or something. It there was, was a medical reason he was not in the league longer. I don't think the dude no, was ever the reason he was not in the league longer, which is why he is on my list. I'll just get it out oh, right no. now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Jake Locker walked away from football in 2014 because he didn't have a quote burning desire to play football. And that is the attitude of a loser. If you aren't if you don't want to play football, get out. I don't want you. I mean, he did. What do you want yeah, from him? No, absolutely. No, no. He should have never been there in the first place. He was taking <laughs> he was taking opportunity away from somebody who would have loved to be in the NFL. Yep, me. I, okay, the worst you take with Andrew Luck. Where, where's this heat for Luck? He didn't want to play anymore. He got out. Played are we doing, are we doing our list of of Andrews here? I don't know. I, mean, I just no, never heard we are that true. passionate before. We're just talking, I'm we're, just saying, we're stay ju consistent. We're judging sure. this off of the merits of Jakes, Jakes. not Andrews. We're no. judging this I'm comparative saying, keep to Keep the Jake's. same energy. That's a bunch of BS. Comparing to Jake's. I can't believe Jake I have to up. sit here on a podcast in 2020 <laughs> defending Jake Locker. What the hell is that? That's that's Jake. your choice. <laughs> what was wrong with that? Yeah, you got something. You, you got something going on up there. You made the choice to defend Jake. Yeah, compared to Jimmy Clausen, I, I'm I'm sorry. I can't I can't do that. Oh, Jimmy Clausen had a longer career. Because he he wouldn't start. He just refused. He just was a backup forever. That dude was the worst quarterback knew his place. I've ever seen. He knew his place, and he did it well. Yep. Did he do it well? 
Some would yeah, argue. Yeah, he did it pretty miserably. Yeah. Did it for a longer time than Jake Locker. Absolutely. What does that mean? Longer career. That's the merit. That's, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, you guys. Yeah. Oh, boy. I, but again, this isn't the Jimmy's it, bottom three. This no, is the Jake's. This is, we're, At we're base, Jake. A lot of Jake's have had impressive merits. Jake Becker can attest to this. There are a lot of impressive Jake's out there. Yeah. And in, in the, Ball. with the merits of Jake's in the history of Jake's, Jake Locker falls to the bottom. Absolutely. But, Couldn't agree more. Thank you. But at the bottom, sitting at the bottom in a dark, dark place is the worst Jake of all time. And no one, no one will disagree with this on this podcast. The definitive, my God, the reason why I wanted to do this so badly, the definitive worst Jake of all time is Jake from State Farm. No oh. one is worse than Jake from State Farm. Mm -hmm. Now, where to I'm begin? Mad. Where to begin with this basement dweller of a joke? Joke, if you want to do that. Now, Becker, I think you... All Jakes, actually, could probably attest to this. So, yes. Yeah, so, uh, I, I, I just want a little bit of clarification. Yeah. It's not, it's not Jake from State Farm itself. Himself, fine insurance agent probably one of the best out there you know what it he is, can go to hell too i'll say it yeah it is he's the it face is the of allure it. around him that everyone just Ooh. jerks him off essentially like oh jake from state farm the moment they hear the name jake it's jake from state farm that guy it's everyone else who ruins it for him well okay it's so. like it's sim it's similar to your um jake lloyd or jake floyd or whatever his last name is lloyd jake lloyd yeah it's like he did nothing wrong Everyone else just so, gave him okay, the okay, okay. So just to start off the Jakes from State Farm lore, um, to, for background knowledge, even though everyone knows it, commercial, ha ha ha, who are you on the phone with? Jake from State Farm. Oh, Jake from State Farm, you're wearing khakis. Oh, yo, yeah, oh, funny, look at that. He's supposed to be talking to a uh, girl or whatever. Fucking, I don't know, stupid joke. And seamless commercial, and I, I get the biz. You want to milk whatever you can get. Look at what Geico did. They sold their commercials on DVD. Um, you milk what you can. But my God, did people love this joke. People loved this Jake from State Farm joke so much that whenever a Jake comes up, oh, like Jake from State Farm, you fucking... And it's it's boomers. It's all boomers because oh, yeah. all they can think about are the commercials they see when they're trying to watch fucking 60 Minutes or something. I don't know. <laughs> all they can rehash are the commercial jokes that they see. So it's Jake from State Farm. So yeah, it's probably the funniest thing you've seen because all you watch are ads and you're just you're just shoveling into the company of this not funny joke. And there are there's merch made. Jake from State Farm merch made. Are you kidding me? The guy himself, this man agreed to multiple commercial deals. Like I get it, get the bag, get yours. But, like, consistently, Jake from State Farm commercials are all over still, and they aren't funny, and I'm sick of hearing it, and I think every Jake can agree. It gives all Jakes See, everywhere a bad name. I think it's very funny that people love Jake from State Farm so much that they made a Jake from State Farm Part 2. Like, a complete reboot of the commercial. <laughs> and I've never been terrorized more from a commercial than this Jake from State Farm commercial. Wait, they made a like, part two? It's, they ran during the Super Bowl what with the it? new Jake. It's just like this. It's the literal same shit, except a new Jake took his role. Oh, I'm thinking about the new Jake then. Yeah, there was an old one. Oh. You're muted, Pate. My apologies. This is a rehash. Yeah, they're milking out even more because they just redid it. Okay. Yep. Well, yeah, this is like a decade-old commercial, if not yeah. more. I didn't know they made and a new one. it was so, quote-unquote, yeah. funny the first time. They're just like, we got to bring him back. He's so funny and iconic. I Okay, I didn't know that was... I didn't know... I thought that was just... But that's right, because I'm remembering the commercial now. It's a new Jake. Yeah. Wow. I've been I've been hearing this commercial for years. I was going to say, this is like... It won't go away. It that, won't go away. That commercial is like years old wow yeah so he earned a spot on my bottom three i hate him 
um, and everything about State Farm, honestly, for that, even though they're my insurance company. Um, so rounding out my bottom three, Jakes, I've got Jake Ryan, Jake Locker, and Jake from State Farm. All right, so back strong to the list. list. Thank it's you. a very strong list. So I'm going to start off my bottom three Jakes with, I feel like we, we'll all agree no matter what, it's going to be Jake Paul. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I actually, it's an, I feel like it's, it's an easy one. It's to, an easy like, one. Not have, but I just had to throw him on there because he is just an ultimate cancer on YouTube. Just like everything he does, he just he's so out of touch from reality that it just hurts watching yeah. him. It's is that just, the older one or the younger? No, one? the younger one. That's the younger older one. Yeah. So they both Not stink. <laughs> they both stink, but I'd much prefer Logan over Jake. Let Why? me tell you what. I don't know. I watched, I watched some interviews with him. Like, J- or not Jake. I watched Logan some of his is, vlogs. Like, Logan knows, like, he knows what he's doing. Like, he knows exactly what he's doing and playing and in, playing into it. I'll give him that much. Okay. Jake he also has, filmed a dead body, but uh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not saying that's a good thing by any means. But Logan is more in tune of what he's doing than Jake. Jake is just so far out of reality when it comes to, like, his personal branding and shit that it's just hard to watch and okay kids eat it up and it just i don't know i can't i can't stand it i actually forgot this was the one i was going to put on my list instead of jake locker i'm so glad i put jake locker on this list but as am i <laughs> so, but, but jake ball's a great one yeah number two i'm going with the rap and hip-hop artist jake miller okay who? Who that is exactly i used to listen to him like middle school early high school and I'm like oh this guy's cool he's got the same name as me whatever then listening to him like not not recently but like a few years down the road i'm like wow this guy fucking sucks his music's so corny and everything i just complete 180 i'm like wow this guy fucking sucks i don't like his okay. music anymore so yeah number three oh, <laughs> hey, sorry for button in this sucks yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it sucks. Yeah. It's, I don't know. His music's just bad now. I just can't listen to it. If you know, you know. I'll say that. If you like him, good for you, I guess. I don't. If you so. like him, you're wrong. Yeah. Um, Number three. This is going to be... I don't know if any of you guys will know him, but he played baseball back in the 1860s. So oh, boy, you are you so his name is Jake Beckley. First of all, dumb last name should be Becker. That's a far superior last name. Lucky move. Um, and he's in the Baseball Hall of Fame, which immediately just wants me to discredit him entirely because he's made it in the Hall of Fame because he was an athlete in the 1860s. That's really the the criteria for the MLB Hall of Fame. Oh, did you play baseball before like 1910? Oh, we'll throw you in. You were good. You started the game. And his, his stats, whatever, decent. He was hitting against Milkman, so I'd hope he'd hit. He only hit 87 home runs. Yeah. Not so, my Hall of Fame. Yeah. Thanks. And the teams he played for are just ridiculous. He started with the Pittsburgh Algonies. Okay. What the hell's an Algony or Algony? And then Adam, that team dissolved. And became the Pittsburgh Burgers. Oh, no. <laughs> burgers. It's spelled B-U-R-G-H-E-R-S. A random H for no reason. And that team got so much hate that they went back to the Algonies and then switched it to the Pirates. So yeah. this is more so, of a knock on, so at one point, on Pittsburgh baseball. But the this haircut had to play for him, and I just hate it. So at one point in baseball, there was a matchup of the Boston Bean Eaters and the Pittsburgh Burgers. Yeah. <laughs> what, a, what a matchup. Riveting. Who could possibly win? <laughs> Riveting baseball. What an unmovable object meets an unstoppable force. This man hit three times as many triples as he did home runs. Yeah, he had 244 <laughs> triples. Oh, man. It's like, just that's run that's home at that disgusting. point. Like... Uh, yeah, do it. You yeah, no, that's a good point. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. It's, it's only another ninety feet. Just make right. it home. Yeah, for easily, sake. easily Jeez. just run home. So this guy just fucking sucks just because he played against other milkmen in the eighteen sixties, and just because that he's defaulted in the MLB Hall of Fame. Okay, yeah, I'll give him one thing. 
hell of a mustache. That is true. Yeah, but back in that day. Wow, well, hey, yeah. you, you, you got to only compare him to the back in the day. Back in the day, mm -hmm. everybody had a cool mustache. Everyone yeah. has the exact same mustache. What does that Everyone. even mean? You know what I'm saying? Yep. Plus, we're even judging it off of the merits of Jake's. So, you know. True. I've seen Jake Gyllenhaal's had a better mustache than Easily. Him. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So... I bet Jake Locker could even have a better mustache than him. Probably. Uh, let's not get crazy. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Jimmy Jimmy Jake, yeah, probably. Jake Paul, Jake Miller, Jake Beckley. Okay. Good list. All right. So for my bottom three Jakes, I wanna I wanna preface this before I get unfairly attacked because this is not a personal attack. This is not justifying the actions of others okay. this is in a nutshell i don't care that he was a kid he sucked in star wars jake lloyd was a terrible anakin skywalker and it didn't come around until years later where his comically bad lines became like meme worthy and for a very long time they were just nothing but pure uncut cringe are you an angel? Are you an angel? <laughs> Lines like that. Talking about doing a flip. It. That's a cool trick. Every single scene with young Anakin was nothing but pain. I, you can, you, just comparing him to other child actors. He delivers all of his lines so awkwardly. Granted, everybody was with George Lucas. I get that. He didn't stand much of a chance. But, like I said, this isn't a personal attack. He was just a real dog shit Anakin Skywalker. And they just a weird casting choice. I get they tried to make it like the real innocent thing, but it sucked. It was just bad, bad, bad. Bottom three. I'm just going to say I haven't seen it, but I feel like okay. based on how you're, how everyone describes it, is that you put any child actor in that role, they're going to be set up for failure. I was just going to say, I don't know about, about George, George Lucas, Lucas I get was it. And you can... not doing him any favor. No, he wasn't. Yeah. I'll so say you, it. You can throw any childhood, like, child actor in mm. that position, and they'd get the same amount of hate. Like, yeah. throw in whoever, and they would, everyone would just hate him because of the act, like, the lines and everything. Yeah. No, I don't have, a, I don't have enough evidence to prove that. I get what you're saying, but at the same time. I haven't seen another kid play Anakin. I saw. Have you one. seen his documentary about the refugees and in India? Stunk. I'm sure it's fantastic. I'm only talking about this. Hmm. So it's you're just like judging it as movie. child Jake Lloyd. You aren't judging adult Jake Lloyd. I am just judging like this movie, Jake Lloyd, and it's so bad that it just makes the bottom three. I'm sorry, nothing personal, but that stunk. Wait, I hate Phantom Menace. We'll have to and do. A... He is a gigantic reason for it. Well, you know what? You might want to do a top three, bottom three child episode then, because uh, you hey, can roast more okay. children. <laughs> I I think I he was set up want, for man. failure. I, I've seen the that movie in general was not going to be good regardless of who was Anakin. It was set up for failure, and I, f I feel bad for him that his career started off that way of really just George Lucas. Um, cause I really think, cause I, I could be wrong on this. I remember there was a child actor who was actually in line to play Anakin. It was a big name and it might actually be Jake Gyllenhaal. If not, it was going to be like Leonardo DiCaprio. I, there was someone else they wanted to play. Um, they wanted to play young Anakin, but he had to go with Jake Gyllenhaal. I, I can't think of who it is off the top of my head, but it was a big, I mean, uh, Jake Lloyd. It was a big name actor. I forgot who it was though. But I don't know. Gets too much. Well, hate. moving on to a Jake, we can all we can all agree to hate. Once again, I'm rehashing. It's it's Jake Ryan. My God, Jake what Ryan. a piss poor linebacker that was. That man was the worst coverage linebacker you could find out there. He was a mediocre run stuffer at the very best, and he committed a cardinal sin of being so incredibly like pale and wearing a dark visor oh, on your yeah. helmet it's a terrible look it's, that's it's not bad. a good look and everything about him was painfully awkward middle linebacker number 47 could he Whoa, accidentally make I a for... right decision on the football field oh, i forgot he was for some reason i thought he was 50 no wow no like he literally was... not one thing he did on the football field was even slightly interesting he Pl sucked plus 
um, for fellow Badger fans out there, big Badger guys out there. He played for Michigan. We hate the Wolverines. We're exactly. Badger fans. Get out of except, here. Except I root for my... We love DJ Wilson. Oh, well, yeah. That's basketball. My Badgers do not... We do not compliment Michigan on here. I'll get angry. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Zach. I'll get angry. Watch me get angry. Yeah. Oh, man. And I'm going to make this today. I'm going to say this right now. I am never going to talk about Jake Ryan again as long as I live. Deal. Okay. Deal. We, we bury and it. I can we bury it. No different for it. We bury and that's it. that's okay. So, yeah. yeah, Jake Ryan, he stinks. Now, what would you guys, when it comes to sports, I want you to think about something. What is the most important thing in sports? Dong. Finesse. I would say wins. Just winning in general, right? Having a good you time. You play to win. Having a good time. Yeah. Professional sports. You play to win the game. Being professional entertaining. sports, what matters the most is winning games. And being entertaining. Read the, the fans now, have. Read the script. It makes me think. If you're trying to win games as a professional sports franchise, winning should be the number one merit. And for the last two years, we have been deceived as a viewing public when it comes to sports, particularly baseball. And we have been awarding losers. I'll say it, losers. Now you might be thinking, Kyle, where are you going with this? Well... The last two years in the NL, we have decided to give the Cy Young Award to a loser. And his name is Jacob deGrom. Jacob deGrom has won back-to-back Cy Youngs in the last two years. You know how many games he's won? 11 the year before and 10 this year. Does that sound like a guy you want to be the best pitcher? I don't think so. You know where his wins rank? He won 10 games or 11 games this year. Do you want to know? Where that ranks, forty second, behind such incredible names as John Means of the Baltimore Orioles, tied with Jeff Samarja of the Giants, tied with Ivan Nova of the of the Detroit Tigers. Do these sound like names that are household winners to you guys? No, no, no. they're not. They're losers too, and they have done more for their team's success than Jacob deGrom. Unbelievable that we would keep awarding such a loser. I think it's rigged. I think baseball needs to question itself, and I think we need to relook the Cy Young system. It's because probably because trash. the allure of the name Jake really encompasses the people voting. It's like, wow, this Jake guy, there's something about him. It makes you think. I, I don't deny it because clearly there's some ulterior behind-the-scenes stuff going on here. I'm not here to argue, okay? That's not what I'm here to do. I'm just here to state facts. In 2018, as Kyle stated, he won 10 games. He only lost nine of them. I spit out my coffee, you saying that. He only lost nine of them, so he won more than he lost. He also had a 1.7 ERA. If anybody doesn't know what that means, what ERA is, it's earned earned run average. So he... On average, he gave up 1.7 runs per nine innings. I think it was. I think it was 2018. I saw a stat on Twitter when he won the Cy Young um, that if his team would have scored, um, would have scored at least two runs, only two runs in games that he started, he would have been like 25 and three. Hmm. He just that- have, no, no, they didn't. To be fair, they did not. And he's in the and- NL, so he is a batter. Say, he is a batter. Yeah. Yeah. He is just as guilty of contributing or lack thereof contributions to that lineup as anybody else on that team. If he wants to win so damn bad, why doesn't he pick up a bat and hit a few dongs? You know what That's I'm saying? That's a good point. I didn't fair. think about it. Really started talking when about look, it. Especially when you look at the number one winner last year. He did win the Cy Young, and it was in the AL. Justin Verlander, he won a full 21 games. Mm-hmm. Sounds yeah. like a winner. Sounds like a guy helping his team. He won a Cy Young, and we're mm-hmm. going to give it to Jacob DeGrom. Strange. Fair. And I'm sick of this absolute trash in baseball. I want winners to win, and I want winners to be rewarded. He needs so that to get is out why of New he's York. bottom three, Jay. He, he needs to get out of New York, man. That's all I'll say. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he can start winning some games so he can actually earn an award for once in his life. <laughs> 
He did have more garbage. wins than losses, though. Trash. The last two win. years, he had more wins than losses. He did have more also, wins. Ivan Nova had more wins Kyle. than losses, and he stinks. Kyle, Kyle, you're a big believer of war, are you not? He is. I've never said that on the spot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, he had 8.2 war as a pitcher last year, which is insane, which is incredible. Which how many games did he win, though? Wins above replacement. Uh, so huh. that's how many wins he's worth to his team. It's just strange. That's all I'm saying. I, okay. Weird. I wasn't here to argue. I'm not going to argue. I accept. I disagree, but I accept. Jacob okay. DeGrom. Trash, Jake. So, yeah, my list. Jake Lloyd, Jake Ryan, and Jacob DeGrom. Wow. What a list. Okay. Does that leave me? Am I up now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. I want to hear some Jake Locker slander. I already put it out there. That was that was my biggest reason for Jake Locker is he walked away from football because he didn't have a quote unquote burning desire to play football. Um, as I said, attitude for a loser. So get out of here. Yep. Um, the next one I had is Jake Rudock. Anybody remember oh, Jake? Rudock? I know that no. name. No. He-, uh, he was drafted by the Lions in 2017. He played he three games. Oh yeah, he was a quarterback. Yeah. Um, in 2017, he played three games, attempted five passes, completed three of them for 24 yards, and threw one interception. Okay. <laughs> Wait. He has not once since seen the field. And he's still Good. on an NFL roster. He's on the Dolphins roster. It makes no sense to me. Wow. Okay. He just needs some time to develop. I don't know, man. Yeah. Watch out! Completion watch out to uh, watch out to uh, um, Jake Rudock, terrible football player. Okay. I honestly, I had a theme sure. here, and I was reaching a little bit for that one. Um, but my last <laughs> one here, my last one here, Jake Fromm. Okay, oh boy, <laughs> yeah. Jake, Fromm. Jake Fromm. Jake Fromm stinks. Um, we're gonna start it off light here before we get into the heavy things. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Um. I'm glad you had brought up Jake from State Farm, Zach. Okay. Because do you know what Jake Fromm's Twitter handle is? Oh no, it's it's literally it's literally Jake from State Farm, isn't it? Jake it from is State or something. Jake from State Fromm. What an awful Twitter handle. That's I mean, that's a bottom three Twitter handle. If we're gonna if we want to rank Twitter handles, yep. I'm giving away my first one for the bottom three. Jake from State Fromm. Awful. Second, he's a racist. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I didn't yeah. Elephant in the room. Uh, yeah. That no one we were going to save that up. He's... No, yeah, there were two yeah. reasons. Um, his Twitter handle, and he's a racist. So Great reasons. Uh, for, those, for those that don't know, there were some text messages leaked of uh, Jake from State From. God, it makes me want to puke saying it. Ugh. Um, makes me want to puke of, what you're about to say. A no, string yeah, of yeah. three text messages that said, but no guns are good. They need to let me get suppressors and just we, we make can, them very expensive so only elite white people can get them. Ha ha. That's ha, tough. Ha. It's bad. There was a lot of really uh, pre draft Jake from defenders and truthers out there. He was going to be, he was another one of those guys. If he would have come out a year before, probably would have been a first round pick. I don't think you're going to get too many truthers for Jake from out there after that. What team is he on? Now? Bills, the Buffalo right? Bills. Yeah. He's yeah. a bill. I, yeah. I what, certainly am he, never going to be a, a Jake from right, defender. Here's a, here's a question he for the Bills. Before? Why was he drafted by the Bills? Like, don't it, they already have a quarterback? Before Josh Allen, though. No, he was drafted no, this, he was year. this year. But yeah, I mean, it was like a mid. Year. He's a mid round pick. I don't oh, know. okay. Just de- draft. You, you want a quarterback to draft and develop. Preferably, you don't want a racist one. But uh, yeah, uh, they didn't do their homework, and uh, apparently, Jake Fromm never did his homework either because that dude's a fucking idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Career over. That should have never started. Yeah. It should have been be. over yeah. after that got leaked. He's still uh, yeah. on that roster. I didn't see him get cut. So yeah, that's yeah, tough. Bottom three, Jake. That's yeah, a strong that's, one. That's a great one. I didn't even think about that. That's great. Jake Fromm stinks. Yeah. 
I also don't think he's very good at football. So, I mean, that is very minor compared to what I've already stated here. But, yeah. I agree. Um, I don't think I've ever seen, like, gameplay of Jake Fromm. So. Was, Jake Fromm was the one who – like Iowa get, or something? Or no, I thought he Iowa. went – Oh, man, I thought I, I thought he was the one who lost his job at Florida State, right? I don't care. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't give a <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah, he, I hate uh, him either way. So whatever. My bottom three: Jakes, Jake Locker, Jake Rudock, and Jake from State from. Just do Jake. I feel from bad for Jake Rudock. <laughs> yeah, whatever the hell his name is. Like, what? A, what he can a, go to hell. That's right. all better. He was an innocent guy just, like, trying to pursue his NFL career and just hasn't had a That's... chance. But I was like, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Murdoch, he did nothing to deserve being with those two. Right, right. He got his shot three different times. That's true. He had his opportunity to. Mm. But, man, those other Jakes suck. Oh, um, yeah. Well, with that being said, um,. Hope you enjoyed our rankings of the Jakes. Um, if you know anyone else, any other name you want us to rank, let us know. Um, you can let us know on In social general, media. In general, you want us to rank, honestly. We just ranked Jakes. So honestly, at this point, anything is on the table. Tweet us. Send us a DM any way you can. Preferably a five-star review for uh, if you really want us to rank something. Uh, yeah. Literally, we will rank anything. Like we anything, anything. well, anything. within reason, anything though. We just sounds like we're begging now. Please, guys, give us something <laughs> to rank. We need something, guys. Oh man! Oh, I'll, I'll beg for five star reviews. I'll do it. I'll get on my hands. Gonna, and yep. to beg. I'll get on my knees easily if you give us a five star review. Ah! <laughs> um, but okay, I get it. Um, but make sure to follow us on social media at the Farmcast Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Let us know what you want us to rank next. Um, maybe we'll attack. Uh, We'll tack Al's or something. I don't know. Fuck Ooh, it. Maybe. It's a good one. Um, but also subscribe and follow us on all podcast platforms for video on YouTube and on audio for SoundCloud, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Also give us a five-star review if you're on Apple and like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Um, and yeah, that does it from us at the Farmcast. Hope you enjoyed our list of ranks. Uh, I know we did. Um, so continue the discussion on what Jake's you like and hate. Uh, and let us know. But that's all we have here from Farmcast. Thank you for listening, and we will catch you later. Bye.